In the next 122 seconds I will show you how to choose the right docker base image for your project. If you do not know how everything from docker files to images and containers work together, check out my docker basics video. The link is in the video description below. When you start creating your image, you have two options. You can start from scratch and define everything yourself or you can use an already existing image. If you use an already existing image like Alpine, Nginx, Node and so on, docker officially calls it parent image. And if the image starts from scratch, they call it base image. However, our community usually uses these terms interchangeably and you will probably hear base image most of the time, even if it officially refers to a parent image. To keep things simple for this video, we will also refer to all of our images defined in the from directive as base image. Choosing the right docker base image might be more important than you think. It is essentially the foundation of your application. If the foundation got issues, everything that you built on it will have these issues as well. So how should you choose your base image? First, assess your needs. Consider the size, performance and compatibility requirements of your application. Bigger isn't always better. Smaller images often mean faster deployments and less overhead. Next, security. Make sure to use trustworthy sources for your images. On Docker Hub, you can identify them with the badges Docker Official Image, Verified Publisher and Sponsored OSS. Trusted sources maintain their images with a focus on security, perform vulnerability scans and they issue timely updates and badges. Minimalism is key. Choose images that contain only what you need. This not only trims down size, but also minimizes security risks. Images stacked with Alpine or Slim are the go-to for a lean setup. To keep your images up to date, use tools like the Bannerbot or SNCC. This ensures your images are patched up against vulnerabilities and please do not fall into the latest trap. If you do not specify a version and just blindly use the latest stack, you lose control over the security of your own application and open yourself up to breaking changes without your knowledge. Customize smartly. Pre-built images are usually the way to go, unless you have unique requirements like a single binary or you have to follow legal compliances that demand a custom build. In that case, you can use from scratch as your base image, the grandparent of all images. The big benefit here is that you can define everything yourself. The big drawback is that you have to define everything yourself. So explore your options before settling on the base image. And that's it. Now you know how to select your Docker base image. In the next video, I will show you how to create your first Docker image using a lean base image. See you in the next one.